about 20 centuries ago. It said that Mary Magdalene and her aunt, Mary Jacob, and Mary Salome, the mother of James and John, traveled on a boat across the Mediterranean Sea to this place, now called saint marie de la Mer. It is also said that Mary and these others were arrested by the Romans and were placed on a ship without oar or sail and basically left to drift upon the sea and that they miraculously landed in this beautiful, beautiful place. The church in Sainte Marie de la Mer is dedicated to Mary Jacob and Mary Salome, whose relics can be found there at the church. It's written at Aix-en-Provence, a city nearby here, that Martha, Lazarus, and Maximus were also traveling with Mary Magdalene at that time. They were all in the boat together. In the church, you will also see a beautiful, what we would probably call Black Madonna, only the gypsies call her Saint Sarah. And it is considered a great privilege to dress her and prepare her. Uh, and they celebrate on her feast day. They travel from all over to come celebrate her. They also celebrate the lives of uh, Mary Salome and Mary Jacob. Now, it's said that Saint Sarah could be one of several things. She might be, or have been rather, a servant of Mary Jacob and Mary Salome. She might have been a queen of the region here that greeted these um, shipwrecked individuals when they arrived. She might be an Egyptian abbess, and then there are more current theories that suggest she might even be the daughter of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Now, if the bloodline stories are intriguing to you, you might find it interesting to know that there's a painting inside the church that is a depiction of Jesus being in a boat and landing on the shore. I'll leave that up to you to decide what that means to you. As I meditated in the church, as I've meditated here by the sea, I've been struck how the concept of family continues to um, touch my heart. It's so clear that Mary Magdalene did not travel alone. She traveled with family of blood and family of spirit. And they created a new home together here. As I imagined what it must have been like to be Mary Magdalene adrift at sea, I had this beautiful um, feeling and visions of her resting quietly and imagining or seeing or sensing, using her intuition, to connect with the life that was to come, the beautiful life ahead of her with all of its aspects and welcoming that life. So dreaming her life into being and welcoming her new life. And I can't help but wonder if that also meant for her and for the individuals traveling with her, a meeting of their family here. Might be kindred spirits, the people that took them in, that uh, assisted them in getting established, the ways in which you communicate with fragments of each other's language, or that you share little delights with each other, or you assist each other in some way you find a way to say thank you to the families that host you. There is a, a magic that happens when we are set adrift or we travel intentionally to new places, whether that's a place, physical place in the world, or a place within our hearts and our lives, a place where we are finding those who we have kinship with, whether it's a place within our spiritual journey, our own awakening, we are never alone in this journey, ever. We are always with other. This is the teaching of the sacred feminine. There is always other. And I have to tell you that the Church of Sainte Marie de la Mer has a, a deep, profound um, resonance with the sacred feminine. Even the crypt where you find St. Sarah, uh, the ceiling is blackened from all the candles, is the smoke from the candles, you know, that blackened it. And the church has this depth of coolness, the heavy calmness 
of the sacred feminine, the stillness of the sacred feminine. It's very easy to access it in this church. It's our opportunity when we recognize that everyone we meet is family. We have this opportunity to bless everyone we meet. So imagine how that changes our relationship to new experiences when we step into that new experience with an awareness that we're meeting more family, we're touching more family. Whether that's the family of all the beings of this earth or the family of other human beings or the family of the stars, it's all from the hand of the divine, all from that first thought, that first sound of the divine. So we have an opportunity as we step upon new land, as we open our hearts to new adventures, as we meet new people, to bless what we encounter, to bless the family that we meet and acknowledge that divine relationship that is within all of us and a part of us that we share. I think there's an invitation from Mary Magdalene here to slow down and really experience life. The really beautiful, wonderful aspects of life and as we've talked about and, and so many of my articles and videos, to slow down and even experience what is difficult because within that difficulty is the very essence of the divine and an opportunity to receive some gift. So I can't help but wonder if the gift that Mary Magdalene gave herself as she was adrift at sea, not knowing what was going to happen next, she gave herself the gift of dreaming her life, of sensing what was to come, and seeing that there was a beautiful and wonderful life awaiting her. And that, yes, there might be some challenges in opening the doorways to that life. But the opening began with her own heart, her willingness to receive the gift that was coming to her. And that is the great opportunity in our lives, that there are gifts waiting for us, new opportunities waiting for us. And there's a whole family to experience it with the family of the sea, the wind, the earth, the fire, the family of the loved ones we are leaving, but also the family of the loved ones we are about to meet, the family of our divine intercessors who are our guardians and our assistants along the way. Family is everywhere, just like the family in her boat and the family that would meet her on the shore. I invite you to consider meditating with the concept of family. Pour some water into a bowl, that beautiful water that is the uh, conduit of communication, connection, and intuitive insight, psychic wisdom. Quiet your mind, quiet your heart, and feel your family, your family that raised you, your family that became part of your life as friends and, and loved ones that you cherish, and then the family that you haven't met yet in this lifetime, that you will be meeting, and create a space in your heart to bless them. Whether the lessons were difficult or the lessons were easy, they are lessons we share together, we co-create together. And so I invite you to consider blessing them, all of them, the family of your pets, the family of the earth, and bless this world that you live in here and now, the family that we are. This is our wonderful opportunity, I believe, here at Sainte Marie de la Mer, where Mary Magdalene found her and created her new home to open to the divine as we meet the divine in all things and to cherish each moment and bless each moment for the gift that it is, for the family that we are.